Hey, coins collectors, welcome to my channel Coins Heritage. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and click on bell icon for more informative videos about coins. Did you know that the 1 cent 1971 Canadian coin holds a fascinating history and is worth in millions to collectors today today such as the coin's design, historical significance, and current value? Today, we're diving into the world of Canadian coinage to explore the fascinating details of the 1971 Canadian 1 center coin. Join me as we uncover the story behind this coin, its design, history, and significance in the numismatic world. The early 1970s were a period of significant growth and change in Canada. The coins from this era, including the 1971 one center coin, offer a unique glimpse into the times. Let us dive in and discover what makes this penny so special. Let us start with the design. The obverse of the coin features the familiar profile of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Mackin. This portrait has graced Canadian coins since 1965 and depicts the Queen wearing a tiara, reflecting her role as Canada's head of state. The reverse side of the 1971 penny showcases the classic maple leaf design, created by G. E. Kruger Gray. This design, used since 1937, features two maple leaves on a single twig. The maple leaf is a powerful symbol of Canada, representing the country's natural beauty and national pride. To understand the significance of the 1971 penny, it's important to consider the context of its creation. The early 1970s were marked by economic expansion and cultural shifts in Canada. The production of pennies in 1971 was part of the Royal Canadian Mint's ongoing efforts to meet the demands of a growing economy. Pennies were essential for everyday transactions, facilitating countless small purchases across the nation. The 1971 penny was minted at the Royal Canadian Mint in Ottawa, known for its high-quality coin production. Let us take a closer look at the minting process. The creation of the 1971 penny involved a detailed and meticulous minting process. Let us take a behind-the-scenes look at how these coins were made. The process starts with blanking, where sheets of metal are punched into blank discs. For the 1971 penny, these blanks were made from a bronze composition 98% copper, 0.5% tin, and 1.5% zinc. This composition gives the coin its distinctive reddish-brown appearance and durability. The blanks are then fed into high-speed presses, where they are struck with the engraved dies. This process imprints the detailed designs onto each side of the coin. The presses operate with incredible speed and precision, producing hundreds of pennies every minute. After striking, the coins undergo rigorous quality control checks to ensure that only the best pennies make it into circulation. Once approved, they are packaged and distributed to banks and financial institutions, ready for use by the public. For collectors, the 1971 penny represents a fascinating piece of modern numismatic history. While these coins were produced in large quantities, finding them in high grades or with unique variations can be a rewarding hobby. The 1971 Canadian One Center coin is popular among collectors due to its place in the evolution of modern Canadian coinage. Collectors often seek out uncirculated sets or coins that have been graded by professional services to ensure they are in excellent condition. Collecting pennies from the early 1970s can be an engaging way to connect with Canadian history and the artistry of coin design. Each penny tells a story about the time in which it was made, making it a valuable addition to any collection. High-grade specimens are often sent to professional grading services, where they are examined and certified. These graded coins can command higher prices, especially if they are found to be in perfect condition or feature notable errors. The 1971 penny played a significant role in everyday life and commerce in Canada. It was a crucial part of daily transactions, 
from buying a candy bar to making change for a bus fare. The penny, including the 1971 variety, was an essential part of the Canadian economy. It allowed for precise pricing and transactions, which was particularly important during a time when cash was still a common method of payment. Over time, the role of the penny has evolved, but the 1971 penny remains a symbol of a pivotal time in Canadian history, representing both historical and numismatic value. The 1971 Canadian one-center coin is more than just a piece of change. It's a symbol of our history, our economy, and our everyday lives. From its detailed design to its role in commerce, the penny holds a unique place in Canadian culture. Whether you're a seasoned collector or simply someone who appreciates the small details of life, the 1971 penny is a fascinating piece of our national story. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Canadian coinage. Until next time, happy collecting.